Hey guys, welcome back to another Logic Pro how-to. In today's video, let's discuss how to export a song in Logic Pro. There's two things to it. There's how to export a song in Logic, but there's also how to bounce a song in Logic. There are two different things. So I'll teach you how to bounce a song because this is when you actually want to have the whole song as an MP3 or WAV file. And then at the end of the video, if you're still interested in learning how to export, for example, MIDI files, audio files, stems, that kind of thing, I'll talk about that at the end of the video. So let's look at this. We have a song here that is finished. So we want to bounce it as an MP3 and WAV file. First thing to do here is is, uh, and what I like to do, you don't have to do this, is to cycle range at the top on where your starting and end points are. So I know if I'm going to zoom in here and I have markers, so it makes it a bit easier. So if I zoom in here, I know I'm starting at bar three, so I'll make sure the cycle is on bar three. Just play it to check. Yeah, that's the intro. And then outro is... Boom, that's where I want it to end. So I'm gonna zoom in there. I just press stop on the playhead where I want it to end and put the cycle range there and then go all the way back to this bar here at the intro. So now I know where my song starts and ends. And now I can export that specific range. So in order to bounce, sorry, you go file bounce project or section. The, the shortcut for that though, which you should learn is command B. Here we have options. So if you want a WAV file, make sure you click PCM. If you want an MP3, which you can do at the same time, you click MP3. Inside the metadata here, have WAV as your format. 24-bit is, is high quality, and I do 44100 sample rate. Interleaved, none. You can copy these settings. These settings are good for any streaming service. I add it to a project. I do offline bouncing. If you actually want to listen to your song once more while it's bouncing, you could do real time. And then double check just that that is your cycle range for me. Remember, it was bar three of the intro and it's bar 71 that I'm exporting. I'm not going to include the audio tail and I'm gonna make sure my the normalize is off. This is important because what normalize does is like it boosts the volume. It basically looks for the loudest part in your song and then references that part and brings everything up relatively. So it does make it louder if you have normalize on. I like to always keep it at off because I usually put a bit of a compressor or a limiter on the master chain just to bring it up anyways myself. MP3, you can do any quality rate you would like and bit rate. This is a high quality, so you can copy these settings and again, normalize off. So when you press OK, it's just going to go to a finder window. You name the song. So this song is called Purple Shoes. And then I would click bounce and that's going to bounce out that song and it's going to be available in your finder window. Now let's look at exporting. So exporting is good for if you are sending this song to a mixer, a mixing engineer, then you're going to want to bounce the stems. Or if you just want to mix it yourself in a different session, you can bounce the, the audio file to yourself. So let's go to the top here, file export. And you'll notice it's gonna give me a few different options. I can bounce these 17 regions as audio files. I can bounce this one track as a MIDI file or all MIDI tracks as MIDI files all tracks or audio files. So sometimes it's nice, like for example, this bass line here. If I wanted to send the bass to a producer to make it better because they have a bass plugin that I don't have, I can send the MIDI bass line so I can export the selection as MIDI file. And then that would bounce out and then they can put the uh, MIDI file in their own DAW. But usually like I would go in here to bounce the stems. Stems are just fancy words really for audio tracks. You can have an audio track that is just the electric plucks, but you can also make a stem with the electric guitar here at the top and the electric plucks in the same audio track. And sometimes you want to do that. That's what stems refer to. Multiple instruments usually in one audio track. For example, drums, bass, guitars, melodies, and vocals. Those might be your stems groups of tracks. So for example, this harmony stack is a aux bus output here. If I click on the harmony stack, then go up file export, I can go one track as audio file. And that's going to carry all these regions into one audio file. So I might want to go through and do that to the drums. Maybe I want the electric guitar to be by itself. Here's my harmony stack. If I want these to be grouped together, I can group them in an aux output and export that group, or I can also just do everything as audio files, the whole entire project. So file, export, all tracks as audio files. So if I do this, 
Then it's gonna give me a few options here. Important aspects here are the file format. So wave is important, bit depth, 24 bit, and this bypassed effect plugins. So if you want to just have the actual audio, not including like the compression or the reverbs you added or whatever plugins there. If you want to bypass all that, make sure that's clicked. This will depend completely up to you if you want to bypass the effect plugins or not. So if you want, if you're sending them for a mix, if you send a file with compression or reverb on it, then they can't do anything about that because it's hard coded in the audio. If you just want to send them the raw audio to mix, then make sure you bypass the plugins. Make sure this is off or overload protection. I, I usually just have it as off. Next step would be to put it in a new folder. So you, sh you should go new folder and then it will package all those in a new folder. Then you can compress that folder in your finder window and then send that off to whoever is mixing the song. So that's how to export a song in Logic Pro and also how to bounce a song in Logic. Thanks for watching this how-to and I hope to see you in the next video.